really simple. It's not really simple. <laughs> <laughs> Chowhound has the inside scoop on the restaurants and bars that will make you appreciate Dallas's dynamic dining scene by embracing some of the most memorable meals that may not yet be on your restaurant radar. Welcome to Texas. Yeah, welcome to Texas. <laughs> That's right. Our Road Less Traveled series takes us to Dallas to share some of the most exciting dining and drinking experiences the city has to offer. Even though we're big fans of barbecue, brisket, Tex-Mex, and tacos, there's much more to Dallas than these iconic dishes, which many people expect to eat when visiting Texas. Let's talk about your smoker. It uh, is out of control. Yeah, people have different takes on it. Everybody says everything from Mad Max, zombie apocalypse, thing twisted metal. Here are a few of our favorite spots that promise to show a side of Dallas that embraces the authentic and traditional, but also goes beyond the cliché tourist traps that all too frequently define the Texas dining scene. Uptown, Highland Park, and University Park are popular neighborhoods that have great dining options. But if you want to explore what's going on outside of these more mainstream areas, check out Deep Ellum in central Dallas. I grew up in north of Dallas in like Louisville, Flower Mound areas. It's always been a, like a musician and artist neighborhood. You start to still see that. You still see old brick and murals on the wall. It seems like the neighborhood has changed a little bit. You got your, your old you school want. dive bars. You've got, you know, high end kind of boutique places, gastro pubs. You name it, there's a little bit of something for everybody. In the last three years especially, a lot of local chefs have come down here. It's been really cool to be a part of such a neighborhood that meant so much for me growing up. Yeah. Now, to be a part of bringing it back is really yeah, cool. Yeah, now you're providing the beer and the brisket. Yes. I tell you what though, that brisket goes so hard. It's, <laughs> it's out of it's control. It's unreal. It's really good, yeah. yeah. So here we try to change the menu, take the things that people are used to, the things that we know really well here, and instead of capitalizing on that one product, mixing it into other global uh, ingredients. I think for me, doing my training in New York and coming back to Dallas, yeah. you have to find out what people are eating here. You get to come in with a cool idea, and if everybody Switch digs it, it we yeah. put it on the plate, That's and, awesome. and it goes out to people, and uh, we definitely want the spread cooks the to- Spread the creative love. Yeah, of course, spread the creative love, and no good chef walks away from a kitchen without multiple good chefs coming out of it. You know what I mean? That's important for us here to do, and important for you know anywhere. I, I can't say enough about Deep Ellum, the way its residents have responded to this sort of food. Doing Taiwanese street food, it's kind of unheard of in this area. Gotta talk about the beef noodles here. Tell me about this. The national dish of Taiwan, beef noodle soup. When you taste it, you'll, you'll, you'll absolutely see the care and the love that's went into this dish. People, they want to broaden their horizons, and we're really lucky that they've chosen us to be part of that. Being from Chicago, I'm you know drawn obviously to your Chicago style dog. Being in Dallas, I would like to see your spin on your you know house made sausages. Sure, well I'll that. tell you what the the most Texasy of yeah. the uh, of the sausages that we make would be the meat flight sausage in true Texas fashion. It's a smoked jalapeno cheddar sausage. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Comes on a Toronto roll. Oh, Chicago. Yeah, homemade. Nice. Okay, right. The yeah. mixture you see yeah. there. Homemade barbecue sauce, a little okay. uh, sweet and spicy horseradish pickle, and a homemade napa slaw, napa cabbage slaw that the we do as well too. That meat bite sausage sounds right up my alley. There's a lot of really cool stuff out here that you don't really find in any other part of Dallas. So what are you putting together here? Uh, so this is our chocolate bar. It's a malt whipped cream, a chocolate bar that has peanut butter, pretzels, chocolate ganache, peanut butter ganache, and just a layer of chocolate on top. The ice cream is really the kicker here. It is a salted malted caramel peanut ice cream, which is a mouthful, but it is fantastic. I'll just grab awesome. this. Don't mind me. It's good. <laughs> The chunks in it are awesome. The texture is so good and it's sweet and salty and that stuff is addictive. That is dangerous. It's a killer dessert. I'm just gonna knock down this chocolate tower. 